Nice. No, is it going up? Ten seconds. Yo, what's up? My name is Daniel Fleerfield and today we're going to react and comment on the street workout calisthenic battle between Weedley Lobley versus Samuel Blasco. I only know about Weedley Lobley, but I don't know who Samuel Blasco is, but I'm super excited. And this battle is from Wall of Bar Heroes, it's from Underground League. Wall of Bar Heroes Underground League October Finals. So the person who wins this battle goes through to the Wall of Bar Heroes in FIBO in Germany competing against 16 guys. It's going to be battles there, crazy battle. You, want, you, you don't want to miss that. I will link everything down below to the website where they have a live stream and everything. I will be there as well. But today we'll be reacting between these guys. And if you like this video, boom, smash that like button because it helps the channel grow, helps this video reach even more people so people can get to know more about the street worker calisthenic competition out here in this world, in our world. Yeah, you know what I mean. But this is the third reaction video I actually do on street worker calisthenic battles. I'm super excited. I like these type of videos. I like to do those, uh, do those, do, do this. I hope you like to watch it. Now, let's start. Okay, get ready guys. Uh, do you have your popcorn? All right, let's make some noise. Okay, Weebly is start, Weebly, Robly is starting. Rip flip, 540, nice one. Oh, switching to that. Okay, we just stopped there because this one is really good, a nice combo, three, three dynamic skills. So we had that shrimp flip, it looked pretty clean, but that 540 was, wasn't super clean, but he did it. Shrimp flip to 540, then he goes up to a muscle up and switches to a dislocate. One thing I will directly say, if you do that move, why not do this to dislocate 360 and then go up and do your other stuff? But let's continue. Now I think he's going for a static move. Full flash. Okay, pretty good. Now Maltese. Straddle Maltese. Hold that, hold that, hold that, hold that. Nice. To front lever. Nice, bro. Oh, that was a weird one. I, I will count his full planche, I will count his Maltese because he held it long enough and also his front lever. It wasn't the cleanest but he held the front lever. But this one was a weird Hephaesto to something. I haven't seen this one before. Okay, down. Oh, he's doing a Hephaesto, nice. Strong. Oh, two Hephaesto. And a backflip on the bar. A back, sitting backflip from the bar. Nice round, showed the statics, he showed dynamics. Just one thing I would just tr work on is when you are doing that handstand to switch into dislocate, do dislocate 360. Because if you're doing that crazy transition, why not do a 360? It's meant to be like, it's meant to be that you do that. But Whitley, really good round. Let's see what Samuel Blasco will do. I haven't seen him compete ever. Uh, so this will be interesting. Ginger, nice. Full flash hold. Nice, strong. Don't leave it pull up. Full flash. Push up. Okay, we stopped there because I will not remember everything. So that 360 and then up to get speed to do that ginger. Just from watching a few seconds of this, he's more of a static guy. And just doing the 360 to nothing more and it's not as high in dynamics, but you did the ganger, good one. And then going to a full planche, that was a clean one, held it as well. He was not just going up and down, he held it. He, he did that front lever pull up as well. A little bit 
of hip movement when doing that, so I wouldn't say super clean, but still did two of those. And then going up to that fr full front lever uh, push up. And gainer. Okay, it's not done. That is creative, and it's more than that. Doing that wide straddle planche, and then switching the legs like this, going f to full, and then that planche. I like that. Super strong, and like I told you, he is a static guy. Okay, really, let's see your second round. Nice. No, is it going up? No, no, okay. That one, that's goals. Like going to a full planche, he's holding, he's showing that he can't do it, but he's like, let's go down to a dead planche. Holding that dead planche, walking down makes it even more powerful, and that's creativity. So let's see what he brings up now, next. Hands down. One more hands down, nice, hold that, hold that, hold that, nice. Land, dead flash again. Strong. What is he going to do now? Oh! <laughs> that was a backflip from the parallel. He failed because he touched the ground. I know Will of Bar Heroes has those rules. If you touch the ground with your shoulder or hand, it's called interruption fail. Pretty good, like not pretty good round. It was a good round. Showed his static strength and that, that uh, planche variation to handstand, one arm handstand. Good one, Wheatley, good one. And the audience here, when I was watching it this for the first time, it was between Julian Rochet and what was his name, Barney Molnar. The audience wasn't so hyped. So it's good to see that the audience is with the athlete because that gives him even more power. Oh no, he's not done, sorry. Oh, he's going for wide flash of my Okay, now. Look, Weedley, come on. You did a pretty good run, not pretty. You did an amazing run. Why go up and hold some bad form multi? Stop there, take, breathe in the success, and just trust that you did amazing. Okay, I told you guys, he's static. Full planche to a full planche press, and it was a clean one. Let's see what he he's going to do now. Full planche hold, full planche push up. Nice. Okay, let's see the next thing. Okay, I didn't understand that. The thing he did before, to that front lever, uh, I don't, he didn't hold it. Why did, maybe he just needed to rest, go down there and then up. But this one that he's doing right now on a straight bar is crazy. Look at his elbow, like, look. It's just bending to, ugh, looks crazy. And his form, pointed toes, nice. 10 seconds. Nice front lever. The second one was not as good. He's going down. He's doing a prayer flash. Try to prayer flash. Nice. Statics wise, really good. I like your statics. You're strong in flash. In dynamics, you. It was slacking some because you just did two dynamics, but let's see who wins. This is what I predict. As you can see here, they have statics, they have dynamics, they have strength dynamics and combos and creativity. And five judges as well, if you don't know already. And the one who gets the most categories wins. This is a fair judging system. I like it. Uh, Weedley, Weedley, Weedley and Simon. So Weedley will not win the statics, I think. The statics will be won by Samuel. It will be pretty close, I think. And then dynamics, and Weedley will win. Strength dynamics, I, I, I would say that, oh, this one is going to be close. If I were a judge on strength dynamics, that would be Samuel. I would say Samuel. Because he did the full planche push up, and he also did the full planche press, and also front lever pull up. The thing uh, Weedley done was he did 
the dead planche. I don't know if you will count that as a strength dynamic, but then he did the Festo two times. So, but let's see uh, what the judges says and the combos. Oh, this one is go. No, it's not going to be hard actually. Combo wise, it's really it's more. He was more of a hybrid athlete than Samuel. Samuel didn't do a lot of dynamics. Wheatley did. He was showing a lot of different, like, different stuff. So I would say Wheatley will win. And Samuel, creativity or no, that would be Wheatley as well. So I think Wheatley will win this battle. What was the static point? Wheatley. Oh. You see, it was pretty close. If one judge would have judged to Samuel, he would have won that. So it was pretty close. Goes to... Five. Yeah. Five. 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 Nice. Five, four, three, two, Strength and Alex. One. Four. Yes, good job, Samuel. Good job, Willy. Good job, Samuel. Shout out to you both. You did an amazing job. Samuel, your full planche and full plan push up and the press goals. I'll tell you goals. Willy, your variation of both the dynamics and statics and power dynamics and everything was amazing. I want to see more uh, of you and doing just if you're doing that transition to a dislocate, do a 360 after that. Just it just makes sense you understand it just makes sense but overall this was a nice battle to watch and comment on I would want to be there when these people are battling uh, it was it, it seems that the audience was super good this time uh, if I compare it to the first video I've commented like I've told you guys before World of Bar Heroes does well, the best may, maybe the best competitions out there when it comes to street workout or calisthenics, like it's just amazing. And look, the bar setup is crazy. Two and a half meter wide bar. Who, like I told you before, who, who has those? And if you are new to the calisthenics and don't know about calisthenics or street workout, these this is extreme level. Like you can train calisthenics, street work on a low, lower level just to be healthy, work out, and those those type of stuff. Instead of going to the gym, you don't need the machines to build muscles. You can see a lot of calisthenic athletes have big muscles, strong muscles, using them for planches and other stuff. So this is on high level. And I think Wheatley will be competing now, 2020, April, the 4th of April. I'm excited to see him there. I'm going to be there. I hope you are going to be there. If you're going to be there, just say hi. And before you leave, before you know what to do, hit that like button if you like this video and leave a comment. What do you think about this battle? And I will see you in the next video. Let's go.